Hey, hey guys, Yagi, your favorite Mocha Wigger, <laughs> Beta Group TV with another campaign, Magic the Gathering 2013 Jewel. Now, we're gonna have to refight Liliana because I derped out and forgot to switch microphone recording on on Frax. I turn it off sometimes to film cinematics and stuff. And so I, there I was playing a whole duel, which I won, which was awesome. Unfortunately, it was like 10 minutes of just the game again. And with this new mic, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. Liliana, fight this opponent. Creature size 3, deck speed 2, deck flexibility 5, card synergy 3. She uses a black deck. British Cinematics. <laughs> Liliana Vess, Shadowcaller, She of the Veil, Human Female, Apparent Age 26. Mm. I'd say she looks more like 30. Real age though. Over 200! Height, weight, 5'9", 140 pounds. Style of magic, black mana based necromancy. Favorite creatures, ghouls, demons, and imps. Favorite spells, reanimation of the dead, and spells that steal life force. So she's going to revive my monsters once they've been sent to the graveyard. And also, vampire my life off me. Not cool at all. Death is no excuse for disobedience. Allies, enemies, backstory. Hello villagers, where are you going on this fine day? No, nope, we shall draw a new hand. That wasn't enough uh, lands. We have Uvenwald Tracker. For one broccoli, target creature you control fights another target creature. Now that's pretty cool. That's like, uh, I have a card that does that as well. I forgot what it's called. Garrick's Pack Leader. Whenever another creature with power 3 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Primal Crux. Trample. Chroma. Primal Crux's power and toughness are equal to the number of green mana symbols in the mana cost of permanence you control. Wow. So, summon a lot of creatures before I summon them. Nature's Lore. Search your library for a forest card and put that card onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. We shall keep that hand. It's a reasonably good hand. We got a lower creature, we got a middle creature with a pretty good equip, and then Primal Crux. There, that's the other card I was talking about. Prey upon target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. Useful for taking out annoying creatures with silly abilities. Let's summon Uvenwald Tracker. One one, doesn't matter. In turn, she summons a land and probably a creature. Yes, there we go. Blister Beetle. When Blister Beetle enters the battlefield, target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. I dislike you, Blister Beetle. Why you gotta be so cold to me? Okay, so what shall we do to make this stream different? Nature's Law. Let's actually summon a land first. How about some freestyle? I'ma stick with the green deck. It's too late to respect. Doing so now will probably make me lose a respect. For me, for me, these mobs are worth all in. I better stick to games. Because my view rate's probably for me. Mr. Beetle does one damage. Take it. Warpath Ghoul 3 2. It's not cool. Yeah, you better stick to cards, bro, cause you're around the slack, yo. So man up and throw down. No homo. Even 
Satoshi's fee bank. Stop, stop, you're just getting worse. Should be blocking like it's stupid by the hell and name is right. This isn't going well. She's too much man like it's super. Liliana Shade. A very annoying creature. When Liliana Shade enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a swamp card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Additionally, Liliana's Shade gets plus one plus one until end of turn, and she can do that more than once. So, if she has five Black Manas, she can use them to gain five extra stats. So that'll be an extra five five on top of the one she has. So later on, when she's got like nine lands, it's plus nine. So I have to get rid of that reasonably quickly. Leader. Use prey upon me. So that means I'm gonna take about five, six. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Target player draws two cards and loses two mice. So she used it on herself. Each player sacrifices a creature. Oh my goodness. I really hate you. Take about seven damage. She activates it. Yep, there she goes. Okay, only six damage. That's good. Let us go with Wild Heart. On. Let's fight down one more down. There we go. That gets rid of that. I'll take hopefully just three damage. She's six lands. She summons Underworld Dreams. Whenever an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dreams deals one damage to him or her. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. So that means at most I have. Eight turns left. I should have blocked. Now I have five turns left. Okay, this ain't going well. It's that smell of the feet. <laughs> Not my feet. Actually, it probably is my feet. What are we talking D feet? He's gonna hit me with three. I'm gonna block with my Primal Crux. Unless he just kills it. Black spells you cast cost one less to cast. If I summon Indrik Stomp Howler, I can stop that, which is actually good. Bam! Indrik Stomp Howler. Stomp Howler? Let's get rid of it before it kills me. Indrik Stomp Howler. Let's attack. Nice save there by Beardy Goat. Just about died. Takes nine to the face. She got another land. Zoom in! Zethrid Gorgon. Put a petrification counter on top of the creature against the defender and becomes colorless artifact. In addition to its other types, its activated abilities can't be activated. Uh, let's see more info. Death Touch creatures dealt. Destroyed. 
Not cool, not cool. There goes my Primal Crux. She'll stop my Primal Crux. She'll take 4 damage. Primal Crux will kill Zethry Gorgon. And I win! Somehow. I think because he had trampled. Very cool, very cool. Be to go TM87. Cultivate. Search your library for up to 2 basic land cards. Reveal those cards and put one onto the battlefield. Tap and the other into your hand, then shuffle your library. I like that, that is cool. That was well worth it. Next time on Beardy Go TV, we are going to move on to Ravnica and the encounter Spiraling Mana. I'll probably do two videos today since it's Friday. Because uh, these are just little, I might even do three. Ooh, who's that? Jace. That's that Jace Bellerin guy. Like a little shadowy avatar there, dude. Very cool. Okay, thanks uh, for watching. Be to go TV. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, please like this video and leave any comments below. If you'd like to have a multiplayer match of some sort, then um, add me on Steam. You've seen my ta uh, Steam tag here. Be to go 87. Uh, Be to go. TM87. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, check out my other videos. See ya.